Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the June Studio Calico Kit Roundabout. And um, what I did was I cut all the papers down to scraps and I had the add more, add on pattern paper and more pattern papers. So I do have the second sheet so that I can use it as, you know, bigger pieces or if I want to use some as backgrounds. And so I'm just going through some of the strips that I had cut into scraps. And what I did was I cut it right down the middle, six by 12, and then I kept one at six by 12 and the other side, I just cut it down to scraps. And I'm really liking that. And um, I'll probably do that for a few months to see how I like it. And um, one for the giveaway, one of the things that people asked to see was to see if I could try and um, use pattern paper as my background a little more often. So I decided to use where I did have the second sheet. I'm going, I kept them really close and I'm going to try and use those up. So it'll do two things. I'm going to do, you know, what some people have asked and two, then I get to use what's you know, what I got for that kit even more because there's no sense to have that second sheet sitting in my stash for how long, you know, for who knows how long. So I'm just glad to be using up the stuff. So now I'm going through some of the papers that I had cut up and I just want to make a grid. And these pictures were taken at our recent little trip that we took to Quebec. There was this lookout point and uh, we kind of took pictures of you know the girls with the baby and then the guys with the baby and uh, so the title of this page is just going to be the girls and then the boys and then I put an ampersand in between the two so then it says the girls and the boys so I'm just going through see you know what I could find that I can cut down and use on this layout so the top part of the page, I don't know if you noticed, but it's kind of pinkish. Uh, everything that I could find that had pink colors in it, I kind of put at the top of the page. And then at the bottom of the page, I'm keeping it mostly blues. So that the top part is kind of girlish and the bottom part is kind of boyish. And um, this layout is the fifth layout using the roundabout kit. And for some reason, when I went back to work this rotation, I was just exhausted every time I came home. So I, it took me the whole rotation to get this layout done. A total of two hours that it took me, but it took me several, uh, several times. I think it was done in four different kind of sit down session just because I, for some reason I was just tired. So, um, and I th hope tonight, tonight is September 15th. I hope on doing two things tonight. I hope on doing the draw. It took me several hours. I can't believe how many people left comments and all the comments were so sweet. And um, how many people joined the Facebook group and how many people did the video response. And yes, I could have done it on an Excel sheet, but I decided to start it the process at work. And uh, I have a Mac, so I don't have Excel on my Mac. So I just took a piece of um, printer paper and divide it into like little strips and wrote everybody's name down. So I finally finished. So I have everybody's name down. There's over, well over 700 names in, I put it in a little baggie or a big baggie. It's like a 12 by 12 bag. And I plan on doing the draw tonight and I'm going to videotape it. So it should be, it's already 10 o'clock here. So for some of you, it'll be in the middle of the night that it'll be posted, but I plan on posting it tonight. I just want to do the voiceover so that it could, I could also post a video. So now I wanted to put some stamping because one of the, the challenges that I have on my scrapbook page, right? Or no, my Facebook page is to use stamps on your layouts this month. So I had gotten this Coco Daisy stamp and it's all different triangles and some of them are full and some of them are not and I stamped it on that piece of pink paper in the pale tomato and it coordinates it perfectly so it looks really good and now I'm going to outline each and every single rectangle or square 
And the main reason for that is there's not a lot of layers on this page because when you do this this type of layout, it's really difficult to put layers because you kind of put the rectangles beside each other. So, and here you're going to see a big change. Uh, it's going to be one of my hauls. I found this mat at HomeSense. And so I'm going to try and use this up because the other one was so small, like it just fit my page. And this one is 22, 23, 24, 24 inches by uh, 18 or 20 inches. So it's massive. So I just, I just love it. And hopefully it, you can still see the page uh, perfectly. It's just now I can, even though I'm crafting here, I don't have to move my paper so I can use my X-Acto knife. I can just do it on the side. So I, I was really excited and I, I paid $20 for it. And uh, so I was really happy about that find. So now I know I want to work on my title. So I took my October afternoon snow cone. It's a mini market. And the pink letters are from a kit that it was basic gray letter, letters that we got a few months ago in one of the kits. I'm still trying to use those up and uh, the boys is going to be another October afternoon sticky keys and they're called peacock blue and then some other basic gray alphas that we got I think it was last month and the month before and it was called hey boy and I didn't use much of it in that month when I was doing that kit so I want to make sure that I use those up. So I'm keeping them out and I plan on using them and, and trying to use the ones that are for this month too. But I find they only give us like one or two fonts for the month anyway. So I like to keep the one from the month before and then that way, you know, they get used up. Whether it's um, an alpha sheet or thickers or like these basic gray, there is so many in one package that it's okay to, you know, keep bringing them out. So I have my flare buttons in this scraponizer and what I did was I put a, a strip of glue and I glued them down and I still haven't finished putting the rest of them in there. Um, I need to spend some time, you know, organizing, but it seems that uh, when I'm off, there's so much other things to do around the house that organizing my scrapbook room isn't at the top of my priority list. I wish it could be. I'd rather be doing that, but uh, there's other stuff I need to be doing. So I'm going through the rest of my flare buttons and trying to find some that, you know, is going to coordinate with this page. And I found one with a little girl and a speech bubble in pink. And then I found one in blue with a boy and a speech bubble. So I'm going to use that. And then I found one that has an ampersand. And then a pink one that says, this is awesome, which I'm going to put on the girl top of the page. And we got these cork arrows and arrowheads in last month's kit. And I barely use them. So I want to make sure that I use them this month. And um, I seem to only knew notice maybe it's because I'm always trying to use up what's from the month before that I don't use up what's in this month but I've been trying to take out a lot of the stuff that is from this month and less going into my stash so hopefully that works this month so I'm using uh, calico white from Miss Mr. Huey Studio Calico and I, I find the cork is so dark that I like to put some white on there. But I don't want something that's too white. I still want that cork to come through. So by the time I put the other color, I'm still seeing the cork a little bit. So you can see like the porous texture of the cork. But you don't see the darkness, if that makes any sense. And I think if I would use anything else that would really coat it, then I would lose that porous surface. So now I'm going to use my my Hero Arts uh, Tide Pool Blue and Pale Tomato. And those are probably my two favorite colors. And I don't know how many colors, if they make it for all their um, colors, but where I'm purchasing my stuff, they seem to only have a few colors. 
So now I used my heat gun and I dried them up. So I just kind of put them to the side and gave them a chance to, you know, dry up a little bit more. So at this point, I know I want maybe use up some washi tape. And I know I want to create a couple of layers at least beside each photo. So I'm going to use a doily by the girls and then by the boys, I want to do use one of those um, Instagram um, chipboard pieces that we got. And so I'm going to actually, I'm going to use one where the girls are and where the boys are and where the boys are. I'm going to use, it's kind of um, the blue that coordinates with the rest of the layout. And I had found um, a piece of scrap from one of the cutouts from the Studio Calico that I had printed. And I kind of put that underneath so that it would have a white background. And now I'm just looking at some of the chipboard shapes that came in this month's kit to see if there was anything else that, you know, I might like. And I went through my Studio Calico labels that I got printed at Staples. And I did that online. And you have to buy the digital prints from Studio Calico. I had a few questions. You, you do have to buy them, but once you have it, then you have the file forever and you can print it as many times as you can. And it costs about 59 cents to print. Not about, it costs, in Canada anyway, 59 cents to print on glossy, two-sided, uh, one color paper. And it's cardstock weight, like it's really, it's cover weight, I guess they call it. And um, so now I'm going to put some foam tape in behind some of these flare buttons and I'm going to glue down my title and I'm going to put some quick dry adhesive in behind those frames that we got in this month's kit and now I'm just looking for some enamel dots and we didn't have any in this month's kit and I love using enamel dots so I just went through and the pink ones fr were from a kit from a few months back and I still have a few of them to use. So I keep bringing them out every time I have a pink layout so that I can use it. And now I'm going through my twine and I want to use two different colors of twine. And there's a couple of longer strips on either side, one on the boy's side and one on the girl's side. So I'm going to, I punched out a few butterflies in the blue. And then now I'm looking for some, something pink. And I know it seems like a waste, but I'm just going to cut that out and I'll find some other way to use that printout. I just, the pink coordinated so well with the layout that I, uh, I wanted to use it. So now I'm going to put some Stampin' Up dimensionals in behind the butterfly's wing so that it kind of pops them up a little bit on the page. And I really like that. And I did punch a few of the smaller butterflies too. And now I'm going to use the this to that dot adhesive from American Craft. And I'm going to put some on that twine. And then I'm going to do a little bit of loop-de-loops to kind of pretend the flight of the butterflies. And once that is done... I'm going to stamp the date and then I just chose the little saying that said one for the books and then I just put the date July 2013 and I use my VersaFine black ink and now I went and got the arrowheads and I'm going to put it with the top of the title and I was going to put the other one there but they really don't stand out so I'm going to put it with the other cluster pointing towards the photo and then and it kind of changes it up because on the girls side it's the arrow that's pointing to the girls and on the boys side it's the arrow that's pointing to the title so it kind of changes it up a little bit and then I went through my washi tape and found this airmail one that was from October afternoon travel girl and then I covered my photos and took out a couple of Mr. Huey, a blue one for the boys and then a pink one for the girls. And now I'm going to show you a few close up. And if you want to see more close ups, you can go to Studio Calico 
two peas in a bucket and search for Nicole Jones 911 and you can see some close up pages there. I upload all the pages there. I might be behind a couple of pages, but I'm going to actually try to catch up tonight. And or you can go to my Facebook group and join us. I have the link in the description. So that's it. The page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.